folks, I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the McFarlane Toys Raw 10 Psy Go. All right, my zillions, finally, 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 I am getting a chance to look at this Psy Gore figure, this giant hunk of plastic, which is a Walmart exclusive. Um, and that makes me crazy um, because I really wanted to get this line. I figured it's a perfect line to review here on Ultrazilla. It's like animals combined with robots, robot animals, giant robot animals, maybe, I don't know. They go very well with all the kaiju type of stuff. Uh, there's no doubt this guy is a King Kong, Mechani Kong baby here, like somewhere square in the middle. But if you don't know who Saigor is, Saigor is originally a spawn villain. Um, now they branch Saigor off into his own little spin off here. Raw 10 is the name of the line. And some of the other figures in the line do look cool. I, I might check them out down the line. You guys let me know if you want me to check them out. I'll do my best to try to get them. Uh, but it took me two months uh, for Walmart to deliver this guy. You know, uh, that's not cool. I don't like Walmart, the way they handle their pre-orders. I've gone on record about this many times, not only here, but on my Facebook page, on Instagram, wherever I have the chance because uh, they do a disservice to the collector community. But that's neither here or there. What is here is uh, this giant figure. So is it a good figure? Let's find out. Articulation on this guy, it's pretty simple. You got the head. You got the shoulders, and you got the legs. So, um, it's just a 5 POA deal, but it's probably the coolest 5 POA ever. And I say that because just look at this thing. First off, the proportions are insane. Um, I, I, I mean, like, his head is tiny compared to the rest of him. Like, his head is, like, the size of his bicep. Um, so, the proportions are a little crazy, but I think uh, for the Saigor, it's right. It's it's a crazy, crazy design, and um, it's just... I don't mind it. I don't mind that at all. I think it's supposed to be like that, just, you know, he is jacked. Uh, and that is a really, really good thing. Um, it just looks phenomenal, phenomenal. So you got this arm here done up in like a black plastic. Uh, I don't think there's any sort of wash here at all, but look at the sculpt work. Right down to the hand, you see all the veins. It looks great. On the inner arm you got all the muscle and vein work here you can see his hand is all sculpted out the thumb on the inside there it looks great um and it really doesn't need anything because when you have something this detailed you get a lot of natural light that hits it and that natural light creates all this natural shading uh and yeah, that looks awesome. The other arm, though, wow. Okay, so, um, and I don't know why I'm looking at it like that, but it's it's better. He's a big guy. <laughs> Gotta set it up right. Um, the sculpt work is incredible. Like, it is so good. All this robotic-looking stuff. It's very, very, like, Toho-esque in a way, the way it's done. Very Japanese. Um because there's a lot of different textures going on from here to here to here. I feel like there was a, a lot of things studied uh, uh, from Japan um, and the way they do a lot of robotics, you know, uh, even Subaraya, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just has that look to it. Really cool. And then, I, of course, there's a black, uh, like, wash over everything. Uh, and that looks incredible. The fist is awesome. Look at the knuckles. And then it's funny because you get all this wire work instead of like uh, <laughs> uh, veins. And that's really cool. I, I lost my train of thought there. 
On the inside, you get an X uh, as a thumbnail, which is very interesting. And then you see all of that work uh, in the interior. I, I want to get zoomed in even closer here because it's so good looking. Look at all this. Look at all this. I love how all of these cable looking things look. Big, big bolted in piece of chunk of metal for the elbow. More wiring and stuff going through here. All of this looks fantastic. This is all very Colossus-y. Um, and then up here looks incredible. I love these parts. It reminds me of like a, like a tire. And, and that is cool. <laughs> There's something really, 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 really good looking about that. So, yeah. Yeah. In the front here, it's all sculpted inside there as well. That's that's a heck of an arm. Much like uh, the arm, the leg doesn't have any sort of wash to talk about. But actually, when I look at it up close, I do feel like... There is a little bit of a black wash coming out of the line. So, you know what, guys? I think I might be wrong. I think I'm right about the hands. Because I don't really see that. But on the foot, I feel like I see that. That's interesting. That, that could be a trick. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in the leg completely. But there might be. Now I'm starting to, you know, to think twice about that. Um... It's a good looking leg though. Really good. Nice musculature going out to the feet. Uh, that looks pretty good. It's a little weird there. I don't know what's going on uh, the way it's done there. Um, but yeah, but the bottom of it's good. Oh, <laughs> it says raw 10. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, good looking leg. Fur looks awesome. And there might be a wash. I, I might have to say that there's a wash on this uh and then going upwards into the belly now i feel like yeah there is a black wash there so there must be here on the arm i can't imagine them not doing that i just yeah, i don't know yeah now that i'm really looking at it, i feel like on top there might be a little coating there of something Belly looks awesome. Got some scarring and up here. Uh, very King Kong-esque in that way, right? Uh, that's pretty cool. I do have some excess paint from something here. It's white paint, so I don't know. Um, but that's like one of the only real blemishes. And I'm just gonna move it forward here. This leg looks great. Again, you got all that amazing sculpt work, robotic sculpt work, cyborg-y. Looking fantastic in that wash, just brings everything out, makes it look dirty even. Pipes and tubings and uh, really cool knees. Uh, I love it, I love it. Look at the toes on this one. Wow. Nothing going on in the bottom really. I got a little bit of stuff here. But man, that's where it's at. That's amazing. Really, really good looking. Superb, superb. Cygor butt, you know, looks fine. <laughs> and then uh, the back here looks like jetpacks back here. I'm gonna adjust the camera. Uh, and that looks phenomenal. Little thrusters. And all of this, again, this is kind of like that tire type of feel. Just gives it so much character. And I just noticed something. Spawn eyes. <laughs> Look at that. That is a little, little homage there. A little Easter egg. Nice going, McFarlane. That is very, very, very cool. And finally, this head looks amazing. It looks really, really good. Sculpt is awesome. The eyes are done in red, and that's perfect. It's got a nice scar over this eye. 
Nose looks good. It's got a little scar going down from the nose. The teeth are painted fantastically. Nice wash on that. Nice wash on the tongue. Man, you see everything in here. Look, can you see it? Can you? Check this out. I need, I need more light. Yeah, look at that. Everything is painted. Adam's apple, everything. The top of the mouth. That is incredible. That is truly fantastic. Um, this thing for 20 bucks, wow. I mean, it just looks awesome all around. Like anywhere you go to look at this guy, he is awesome. He is really awesome. And you know, what? I, another thing I wanna talk about is the pose I think is pretty good. Um, it looks menacing. He's got one foot forward. You know, everything you see is him like this. And that is cool. Like, like really, really nice. I just love how that looks. Gonna smash down on things. But I like that also you don't have to keep it up. You know, you could keep his arms down. And he just looks very cool. This is gonna look amazing on your shelf. I think, you know... Kids will dig this also. It's a good, solid piece to knock around. Uh, and man, I mean, anywhere you go, this this is awesome. This is really great. For your size comparisons, here's Saigor with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, I, I absolutely love it. I mean, I'm very impressed. Uh, for 20 bucks, this is huge and it's solid and the pose is good. Uh, it is a little articulated because so you can change that pose, but the, you know, the smashing pose, man, that looks amazing. Uh, I, I think it's sculpted fantastically. The proportions are a little weird, but it works for this. Man, the cyborg robot parts are tremendous, like uh, mind blowing and the head sculpt is phenomenal, so. McFarlane Toys, you know, uh, double thumbs up here. I, I really, really love this piece. I just didn't like that it was um, a Walmart exclusive and Walmart always messes around with those exclusives. I ended up getting this two months after I put, you know, after the pre-order was originally supposed to come out. That's not cool, that's not fair. And it made me not want to deal with Walmart much you know i honestly canceled the rest of this order uh and i kind of wish i didn't now i kind of want to go back and try to get more from this line because this is just superb but really this is the one i wanted saigor you know it's a king kong thing it's a mechanic kong thing it's it's somewhere in the middle and uh i i dig it for that yes it's a, a old spawn villain uh but it's its own thing now and this is phenomenal and Everybody should get it. <laughs> Honestly, just go get it. 20 bucks. Uh, this is going to be the best 20 bucks you, you spent in a long time. No doubt about it. All right, guys, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time, peace out, peace.